And we are back. This is Elliot Serrano and Jose Melendez coming to you from Dreamline Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois. Thank you for joining us here on the Comic Culture Warrior YouTube channel. Um, another thing that kind of is kind of related to some of the discussions that we've been having lately. Entertainment Weekly just released their top 20 heroes and villains. Mm-hmm of uh, films and pop culture in general. And um, I took issue with a couple of these things. I mean, there are some that I liked, and then, and then there's one. Well, there's one that I, that really rankled me, but um, I won't get into I'll get into that one later because it kind of relates to heroes again. Um, who did we have here? Number one uh, hero, James Bond. Or number two, Indiana Jones. Number three, Superman. Number four, Harry Potter, number five, Ellen Ripley of the Alien movies, number six, John McClane. I don't like that one. On you know, John from the Die Hard movies. No. Number seven, Han Solo. Number eight, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Number nine, Robin Hood, and number ten is Spider Man. Um, this really is to me, if you ask me, it's it's which way the wind blows currently. Yeah. Although, well, maybe. Uh, maybe I'm just proving myself a bit because... Well, I don't think John McClane would be on there if there wasn't that fourth Die Hard movie. Because he'd be so out of sight, out of mind type true, of thing. True, true. And Spider-Man as opposed to Batman? Well, Batman's on, on here on later the, on. On the... V- He's okay. number 18. Number, uh, number 11 is Mad Max, which uh, which was sur- surprised me. Mm-hmm. Number 12, Captain James C. Kirk. 13, Foxy Brown. Yeah. That, again, why? <clears throat> why Foxy Brown? Right. 14, Will Kane. Uh, 15, Dirty Harry. 16, Jack Bauer. This is a total, yeah. you know, wind, the wind, the way the wind blows right now. Yeah. 17, Nancy Drew. 18, Batman. 19, Atticus Finch. Atticus Finch was named the number one hero, uh, film hero of all time by the American Film Institute. Mm-hmm. I Atticus remember that. Finch probably should have been in the top five. Top five. If he was going to be on this list at all. And Sydney Bristow, number 20. I, I kind of like that she at least got cool. in there. That right. she got in there. Um, so, uh, kind of an interesting, an interesting mix. Um, can't tell how many women as opposed to one, two, five three. men or five women in, in 15 male, 15 males. Yeah. So wait, one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, five. I know I'm right. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> well, that just goes to show. I mean, why you're telling me you couldn't find like an equal number of male heroes and female heroes? Well, the only thing I was thinking like, so you have Superman, Batman, Spider Man, but Wonder Woman's not. On Wonder Woman's not in there. Yeah, true. I mean, she had a pretty popular TV show, and it's kind of even more popular now. So it's so so retro, right? You no, know? uh, so yeah, so Wonder Woman doesn't make the list at all, right? Which, but Foxy Brown does. Yeah, I really don't understand the word yeah. Foxy Brown thing. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. This is a '70s icon type of thing, but I don't understand why she's in there. Mm-hmm. Buffy is awesome that she's in there. Mad Max actually is kind of cool that <clears throat> right. Mad Max is even in there. Right. Um. But yeah, Jack Bauer, go fuck himself. <laughs> uh, he, oh, they have Robin Hood in here, um, which is kind of cool, I guess. But you know, and it's like Harry Potter. It's like, well, you have to have a guest kids hero in here, uh, Ripley. But I don't know. It. It. it, it some of the. Sh- Whenever they do a list like this, it's so just like who cares? Yeah, because it, it's, it's 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 all the editors, the people who are writing the magazine. Right. Well, it's it's supposed to stimulate this kind of discussion, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly when that's is what we're doing now. We're yeah. stimulating a discussion. What kind of annoyed me though? But Buffy in the readers' poll was number, it was number three. three. Superman number one, Batman number two, Buffy number three, Indiana Jones four, Harry Potter five, Bauer six. Man, Han Solo ranking ahead of Luke Skywalker. That's what rankles me because you see first in the editor's poll Han Solo is Jack in, Bauer rates above Han Solo. About uh, <laughs> that really rankles me because to me when you look at the Star Wars movies Luke Skywalker is the hero. He's right. the one who's doing he's doing what he's doing for the for for the good of everyone. He wants to be the hero. Han Solo is a mercenary. Yes. He learns. He's, he redeems himself as the trilogy continues, and he, he learns to be. Pussy in Return of the Jedi. Yeah, right. He ends up getting the chick at the end too. Whereas Luke Skywalker, you know, everyone remembers him for being, you know, 
the whiny little, you know. And then he becomes a bad motherfucker. Yeah, he becomes a bad mofo at the end. But still, how Luke Skywalker doesn't rank ahead of Han Solo just, just, just irks me. I don't get that. I really don't.